this analysis. All right, so 50 to 60%, you don't miss wave dashes, they still happen just a frame or two late. Are you happy? Are you, are you happy with just a frame or two late? Are you happy with your level of wave dashes? Twenty fourth, the right date of that event. Twenty fourth of August, two thousand and seventeen. The amount of time you'd have to put in to get close to ninety percent is time that could be better spent on other lackluster parts of my gameplay. That is true. Just you always got to weigh it up, right? Which is going to be the most valuable thing to practice, and at what speed, right? Because, like, I think two years into the future, what do I need, where, what skill level do I need to be at two years into the future? So I'm not too fussed on winning the next tournament or doing better at OHN or getting on the PR next quarter or beating scared or beating XP or anything like that. <laughs> I think I'm a bit sick. I have such a deep manly voice. How good is commentary though at Down Smash? Down Smash commentary is top notch. Hearing Jack Lance talk about poops. That was hilarious. Ah, my mouse is frozen. Gonna grab okay. Why did I get hit with this up tilt? Why is this taking so long to load? Back air misses because you wave dash back like a god. Could have just stood there and grabbed me scared. Could you? Or you did what you did? No, you like went in or something. I could have grabbed you after this. What the fuck is this jump in? Where the fuck am I going? I did a full hop instead of a short hop. But even still, my aerial comes out so late. It's disgusting. All right, full hop, full hop falling fair, was too late, could have grabbed his whiff, what else could I have done, was I in shield, I wasn't in shield, All right, could have grabbed his whiff, or short hop, aerial, in place, or retreating. All right.
What could I have done here? Bring the shield, right? It's pretty early up, side B. To get up. how fast that is. It's not single frames, but still. Okay, why was I dashing in? Did I fuck up a jump? I don't know. Alright, so that would not have reached me if I had to have rolled back. Then you were charging, so I could have reacted to that. I could have reacted. I thought I would be invincible through you. That was the goal. Oh yeah, jab. Jab would work too. But yeah, if you were a tiny bit closer, it's really just I have to time my get up. So I don't get hit. Such a risky situation. <laughs> Look at this desperation. Chasing that tech roll. <laughs> if you wanna if you <laughs> if you wanna see someone trying to attack where they are. That's exactly the situation. <laughs> Just try and grab exactly where you are. Oh, why did I get hit there? Definitely unsafe. Going under. Again, trying to hit where you are. Okay, what could I have done instead? That was very nice feedback by you. But I feel like the full hop that you did was accidental. What? What could I have done? I could have just like double jumped bear to threaten the space. Instead of landing. Don't bear an empty land turn around shield. Probably something like that. Oh, I don't think I couldn't have reacted. The second bear was out when you were jumping. There was no there was no reaction there, but it definitely could have been more safe. So you're obviously coming down to me. This situation happens a lot, I feel like. Fox coming down with an aerial on path. 
really have to like jump away and space my bear. Foxes go above and below path, not horizontal. So try and play above and below you. Yeah, I feel that. Because when I when I do like short hop back airs, they feel so good against Fox. Like he can't come in and beat that. Unless of course you come from above. Right. So really I want to play horizontal or you want to play vertical. There's another vertical. Okay, yeah, I see what you're talking about. Oh, look at that disgusting pound. Don't judge me. Yeah, there's a like. That's the shit right there. Short hop back here. Look at that. Beautiful. Gets back though. I didn't mean to grab the ledge there. I didn't, yeah, but I didn't mean to torn the winner. And these fox and their awesome recoveries. Yeah, again, coming down from above. Fox is like a fucking gymnast with his up air flips. So really, I need to be more, I need to be more aware of like where you're coming down, how far you can drift, and like stay out of that range. Stay out of that range option. Oh. Basically, I just shouldn't have missed the tech. I should have teched in place. And when you jump, I could have, I could have just got up. I think this is like get up or get up attack would have been better than this roll. So anything worse than this roll would have been to roll left. I don't think gap attack would have been good, but I think that get up shield probably would have been the best option. Yeah, so you could have covered roll left would have been worse because I'll just like stay in the same fucking spot, but there's no um, have no invincibility. So really. Go for the YOLO up here. Worth a try. Then you jump before I can act. So you're really. And then I start rolling. You're already fading before I'm rolling, though. You're pretty, like, committed to that side. Oh, waiting. I could have just fucking waited, right? 
Yeah, you read me. You read me good. So I could have waited until you start falling because then I would get my invincibility. Let's see. Yeah. But I kind of like inputted my roll before I could react to your jump. Because, nah, because if I had waited and you didn't jump, because this is hard reaction time, you could have stood there and up smashed me. Like you could do a jump candle up smash. If I do nothing. And then at 82% I'd probably die. So really it's just get up attack. Not get up attack, just standard get up. Dude look at you fucking. Get your 237, I'm on 82. Alright, why did I get grabbed? Oh, reaching with this fair. Look at this reaching fair. Look at the desperation. And I just stand there like a hobo. Could have wave dashed out. Look, still standing there. Still standing there. I finally go jump away. And you get me. The fair was reaching. <laughs> Either. Just don't do that. Overshoot it. Or come in. With a closer fair instead. Also acting faster out of landing is important. Oh, this dash tag is sad. That's right, you don't get me. Oh, we had to pause it because the screen went off. Crouch cancelling that pound. Alright. Pound won't knock down at 5% even without the, the CC. So a very unsafe option. Focus on Getting those bear pokes up to forty percent. Found more effective after after ten percent, but still risky. So instead, oh, I could have just faded out. A little bit just crouch in there look look at the fishing fox is fishing i could easily have faded out get okay, committed i am to that pound easily have faded out with a space bear could have spaced away bear to crouch and then you can do anything from that I went for okay so this is me going for the missed tech but you didn't miss the tech so I knew I couldn't shield I mean rest you If you had a mistake, bounce, bounce, that would have been a rest right there. Really, it's just, and then you'll shine. When do you shine? There. 
This was a rest opportunity. Did I miss the attack? Attack it in place. And I can still rest a few frames later. Something I need practice. What? I feel like that was sick. Empty land. Why am I running in? I don't know. Get the shield out. Oh, okay. The fair comes out. Still out. So I need more drift and I need the fair to be later. Right, so I should dash a little bit first. Dash, then jump out. I'd be closer to you. And then fair bit later. Because I want to do the fair so that it can fall down and hit like in the start of that. So, yeah, okay. Could dash and jump out. It's probably a whole situation there. Oh, why did I not grab the ledge? Okay, I do the aerial. Eighty three entrance. Eighty three is all right. It's better than Queensland. What did we get? Forty something. I would like to see it over a hundred. It's not Bam though. What did Bam get? One hundred and sixty or something. How many entrances did Bam get? Bam, 2017. Smash GG. Oh, that's Clash Warriors. No, no, no. 209. That's real good. Oh, yeah, because we came like midway and we came 97th, right? How many wins did you get, Skid? Did you get three wins or two wins? At Bam. Melee singles, 210 entrance. Two two. Yeah, I went two two as well. I think I lost first round, then I won two, and then I lost. Yeah, I choked, but I also just wasn't good enough. All right, why did I do this fair? What am I trying to cover? You dropping down? Yeah, I'm trying to cover like if you're still just chilling there. So.
Disgusting pound. Yeah, I did keep picking Peach. But that was because chain grabs on FD. And people suck against Peach. I don't know why. I think now I would never choose Peach. So you're at 86%. <laughs> You've up smashed in place. And then even if this wasn't grounded, because pound goes further when it's not grounded, it still wouldn't have hit. opportunity to take space don't be desperate for the hit thanks for the follow Viet fam now my most recent follower still no follower from scared though by the looks of it sad I'm gonna cry Oh, that bear was reaching. How the fuck does that hit me? So the fear was reaching too much. What could I have done instead? All right. So I do a fair and misses. You're then on the ground here. Really, it's like just stay in the air, right? Don't do anything, double jump, reset to a better position. Because I'm just chasing you so hard. Better to realize I'm chasing him, double jump in the air uh, and try to get a better position. So much easier analyzing ice climbers. Home for disabled melee players. Why why disabled? Did you follow me? Oh scared melee has now followed you I do need to add one of those pop-ups for followers. We're disabled because I'm here. No, you can't you can't do that. That's just wrong to say that sort of stuff. Melee players, for, welcome to the home for smart melee players who practice properly. That's what it should say. Fucking jab. <laughs> this is match up. It's so hard for Puff. It's very broken for Fox. Like, Puff has some good shit she can do, but Fox just has some amazing stuff. Alright, so where'd I go wrong here? Short hop back air, skips doing the dash dance. But near miss, man. I could have just turned around and grab back row or something. This is before I could even wave dash in game. Look. I don't think I've wave dashed in this game at all. Look at that shield drop. Look at this. 
Look at this mofo. Fox in shield. Straight away dropping. What a god. Yeah, come to Down Smash. Down Smash is actually low key the best tournament in Queensland. Do I just stand there like a little bitch? I think I do. Okay, shield drop is six scared. Respect. Alright, you land. I try and attack where you are. <laughs> You've already moved on. I then don't shield. You did turn around. Was it not a shield drop then? What the fuck? How'd you turn around? How did you turn around? If you shield drop too fast, you turn around. I don't understand what you're saying. All right. I tried to attack where he was. Recognize my range and potentially Wait for him to act and punish that. So I feel like I could have punished your drill if it wasn't a doo doo. I'm up here. You've drilled into no man's land for no reason. If I didn't bear here, then I could have double jumped back at you. This game and the last couple of games we've played is like this exact situation here. You now up smash me. Right there, you do an up smash. Maybe you'll try to do an up smash anyway. But yeah, I think the last time we played, you got three kills doing that exact thing. I was like, oh fuck. It takes me till the end of the game to realize what's happening. <laughs> The jab. All right. This is my poorly spaced aerial ability. Oh, I turn around. Why did I turn around? Okay, that was a tech flub. Turn around, tech flub. That was meant to be a aerial. In future though, I need to short hop in place or jump away aerial. It drifting through him aerial. Probably not ideal. You did turn around. How did you get that turnaround? How does that work? Because you were in shield, and then all of a sudden you're through the platform. Well, it may just be because I'm skipping, not frame by frame. But you're in shield. How the fuck do you turn around and get a bear? Explain that to me. That makes no sense. Look at this good like roll. Look at this. There's like sick legs options. Just see that look. Is that another? Did you do another turn around? Here. Oh yeah. Look there. He turns around. Turns around. Goes to the shield drop. Fuck, I don't know what I 
weapons down here. So do a shitty aerial. All the time I aerial because I have to for my drift. I'm falling down. Surprised that he missed me. I could have shielded. Shoot me, I didn't miss L cancel. Getting too much mileage off these back airs. Scared to work it out soon. I think it's actually a UQ that you worked it out and started fucking me up for it. Alright, that was a bad landing. What was I trying to do? Okay. Didn't commit to anything, didn't drift into you. Just kind of poorly spaced. Should have faded back. Fully spaced landing. Should have faded back. All mixed up my attacks. The double jumps. All the ways. Dirty up smash. Dirty fuck up smash. This is not safe. This full hop forward, fair. It's just, in no world is that safe. Full hop approaching fair. Short hop in place, aerial. Short hop retreating, aerial. Or turn around, short hop in place, bear. All probably fine. Or wave dash back and get the fuck out of there. Because I'm in a terrible spot. I'll be back in one second. Doing this analysis makes me realize how how much simpler the neutral is when playing Ice Climbers versus playing Fox. Ice Climbers, like, every time I get hit, it was so obvious why I got hit. It was like overreaching or pounding on his shield or being in a bad position, like being on a platform when he's below me and not shielding or trying to attack him from underneath when he's on a platform. Like, it's just all pretty straightforward what you should and shouldn't do. Whereas with Fox, it's like, it all happens so much faster and the options are all so much more complex. And there's so much fewer opportunities as well. 
with like I think I've done four games with Blasco and there's about 130 hits. So what's that? That's like 30 a game. And what are we up to? We're up to 20 hits for this game. Oh, maybe it's smaller then. Okay. So you're above me. I don't respond to that at all. I drift into you. Okay. I want to fight Fox Poros on Tully. So when he's above me, drift away and space bear. Don't compete. Directly into him. Can't believe that. I'll smash come down. I guess I am super low percent. That back here was better. It was or still like not enough though. I feel like attacking where you are, it's not overshot at all. I think I should recognize that, that I'm not going to be able to overshoot because look where you're standing. Bear was reaching because he dashed away. He should have recognized that I wasn't able to overshoot. Should have faded back. Waited for a better opportunity. Or taken space. Which is probably even better. It's a short hop. Fade too far in. Oh, this should have been like a short hop bear in place. Alright, so it should have been a short hop bear in place. Instead, I full hopped into him. Later, we'll go through. How could I have punished that better? How could I have edge guarded better? I could have waited. Even just standing there doing nothing. Could have waited here. Short hop in place. Then, if you go for the ledge, I could fall below the ledge and back air. Or if you go for platform, I could double jump back air. So jumping and holding into stage and trying to fare where he was. I need to be aware of where he can be. And space aerials that are safe from that. Fox is so good, so fucking good. Look at these reaching fares. Oh, we got over though, we didn't land, which is good. He falls off.
Back here is terrible. Should have been up air. Should have up air. All right, Fox is a bummy. I need a shield. Wave dash. Out. What up till? Uh, probably not. Do shield. Oh, I'm jumping out of shield. Fox is above me, so I don't want to contest him. Shield. Then maybe wave dash out. Then get to a position where I can attack him. Horizontal. Horizontally. Ah, that was reaching. I was just lucky because he got the dash into it. Oh, it's close. It's too early. Alright, this is why. But if I hold shield, then you can grab up, throw it up here. It's like the perfect percent for it. Hmm, that's a hard one. It's just like shit pressure situation. That was so risky. How did it not hit me? Alright, that back up was, I mean that fair was terrible. What should I have done? I should have back it away. Sked, do you think that the Puff Fox matchup is broken in Fox's favor? Or do you think that it's actually harder than it looks for Fox? Am I just a bitchy little puff? Yeah, that's true. It's not the combo game for you. Whereas I do have a combo game. After you get above like 40%, then I have a combo game. My edge guard game is good against you. Well, not mine, but Puff against Fox. Fox just has those strong moves that just kill Puff so early. I think if you got rid of Fox's up smash, or if you got rid of his up air and replace it with something else, like a non kill move, it'd probably be like 50 50. Let's see Maka overreach with his aerials. 
Oh no, he hasn't yet. Scared I breached. I was sure I was gonna like chase you down, but it didn't. You chased me down. You still got the hit. You bastard. Alright, so you're above me again, falling down again, I'm jumping into you again. This has repeated itself like four or five times this match. Be safer. Do retreating bears and foxes above you. Get horizon horizontal. Get horizontal. Did I win the first game at UQ as well? I think I won the first game and you came back and won too, right? That was a reaching pound. You could have kept running back. Better than the ground one, but it was exactly the same as the one that I did last time. This pound is reaching. Take space instead and do well spaced aerials. So scared of Fox's dash dance. He's so easily come in and grab me. Even if I do like an empty land, if I don't get away fast enough. This match is crazy close though. Okay, so you've jumped up. I like overcommitted and could have delayed my aerial. This is why I like short hop fast falls so good, right? Because I full hopped like in the air vulnerable for so long. I overcommitted and did my aerial too early. Need to get better at shuffles because then I am vulnerable for less time. I must be getting stressed because my short hops have gone away. All full hopness now. So even this, right, you with the off smash, which I identify and come in and punish. But should I have done that or just left you? I guess I could have spaced the back here better. So that percent, there's no chance that back is gonna combo into anything at all. I wonder if I could have like empty hopped. Oh, uh, okay. So that you're at 15%. Empty hop up till could have worked. So bear at this percent won't. Not down. Either space the bear properly, run away and come at him later, or empty hop up tilt. Oh, actually, better than up tilt, or not empty hop, empty land. Empty land, up tilt, or Empty land, turn around, grab that motherfucker, and up throw the shit out of his ass. Yeah. Chance of you getting the DI on that is unlikely, 
Even if you DI'd onto platform, I could tech chase onto there. So yeah, empty hop, empty land. Imagine that was, because you had whiffed, right? How early was your whiff? I could easily, yeah, I think I had time to empty hop, turn around, grab. You may have jabbed in time, but it's a close hop. Reached with the dash attack. At this percent, dash attack would have led to him punishing me, even if it hit. Instead, get those well spaced bits. Fair with a full in drift commitment. Instead, I could fair but maintain space or turn around bear and get back to stage. So me competing with him in this situation is not going to lead to anything good for me. We have trade. Oh, that get up attack. Okay. Alright, so I could have stayed out of get up attack range. Just depends like if I wanted to go for rest or not, right? I could have run underneath him. Or short hopped underneath. with a fair to whatever he did. Tech roll in would have been good to rest. Or short hop under platform and then react with double jump up there to whatever he does. Which I feel like would be oh it'd be fine against get up because you probably get up and join. Oh that could have been rest. Look at this shit. Stop. Don't dash attack. Run in, stop. Freeze. Freeze. Crouch crouch you motherfucker. Okay. Hmm. Oh what have I done? This falling fair is terrible. Doesn't give me any benefit. I should have fallen back on the platform with a fair. Fair comes out too late for that. No, I could have had a I could have fared where he was on the platform. Yeah, that could have come out in time. What else could I have done? Could have back aired in place. Back air. Could have hit him. Alright. If 
fair was bad choice option. You could have fed onto the platform to hit where he was for any jumping attack. Or if I fell through like I did. A well spaced there would have been better than once I land wave dash away if the attack missed. So quickly act wave dash away. Scared just living and living and living. Expecting him to land on the platform, which he doesn't. Well done. Okay, so when it misses, which we know it misses here, I want to be horizontal, I don't want to be above him. So I should have faded out of the back here. This is not safe to retreat here. Like when he's, so he's falling down there, he's already to the right of me. Once the fair miss, I should realize that I am above him and not drift over him. Drift out and maybe throw out a bed to be safe. Miss the tech again. It's okay to get hit here. Take club with the forward smash. Should have been a jumping fair, which may or may not have hit. I might have been punished for it. But he's above me. Just gotta be careful. I can't just jump into him when he's above me. This match was a flubber. Yeah, man. Four days. Fuck, it's close. It's gonna be good. I've got today, tomorrow, Wednesday to practice. Thursday, we'll be packing. It's the kids' last day of school, so we've got like a morning breakfast thing and a play, and then we're on the beach. So there won't be much, if any, practice on Thursday. I'm gonna finish this game, and then I'm gonna have a break. 3,500 word assignment to do. Yeah, dude, you should get that done. What's the assignment on? What topic? Look how close this game is. Another reaching pound, doesn't get punished. We're both stressing out. Oh, I could've got that edge guard. Nah, that was a good angle though that you chose. I grabbed the ledge for the side B. Jumped off pretty quick. Could I have 
There's potential I could have drifted out, but it was close. Ethical technology and professional issues in IT. That sounds shit. Sounds like a horrible assignment. Alright man, peace out. Have a good shower. Good luck with the assignments. How does this game even end? I don't even remember. The trade. Oh, please die. Oh, look at that down tilt. Oh my god. Did you see that down tilt? Look at, look at this, look. Like, just above the ledge. If you were a bit lower, it wouldn't have worked. Bam! Down smash. Oh, I probably had the time to get closer. Nah, I didn't. I didn't have the time to get closer to do a down smash. Which would have been better, which would have just straight out killed you. That down tilt, that, that long little jab foot. Beep. That was literally the only option I had for that side B. Could have ran in. Oh, I could have short hopped here and then maybe, yeah, short hop, fast fall, fair the side B. Maybe had time to do it. Short hop, fast fall, yeah, okay. Could have done that, which would have been better. Okay, so game one, summary. A few situations where I was reaching with my aerials. Biggest issue is trying to contest Fox when he's above me by drifting right into him. Instead need to drift away space aerials all right I am going to finish up the stream isn't going long enough thanks for watching peace out